In this video, let me show you how to do the min and max slopes. Okay. Um, now, it's a little hard to see on here, so I'm just going to sort of highlight these error bars here. If you've got a set of data, and typically the data is pretty good, it's pretty linear, okay? Pretty much what you can do to find the min and max slopes is just find the highest one there and the lowest one there. This will be our steepest slope. Okay, but we have to be careful because if any of these other points fall out, right? Like I think I'm hitting that point right there. But you don't want to miss any of the other error bars. It looks like this one's pretty iffy right there. Okay, you can see that guy right there. I might be missing that a little bit, but now it looks like it's still in there. So for this guy, I just basically want to make the steepest line I can without missing any of these error bars in the middle and draw it all the way across the axis like that, okay? And then you can check this lowest one here, this least steep one. This is, by the way, the highest resistance. Let's make sure we don't miss any error bars. And sure enough, this one's easy, right? There's, it's not even close to any of the other error bars. So usually that's what you can do, is you can simply just take the this one and this one here, right? Those guys, and join those, and then this guy and this guy and join those. This is your steepest. This is your least steep. Okay? But you might get some data that looks like this. So let's just see, let me just show you, it's a little more nuance here, okay? So for this guy, Here's the top of that one there. I'm just making it dark so you can see it. Here's a pretty dodgy one, right? It's almost off the line already. Here's another one that's close to being off the line. Here's our... I'm just doing that so you can see them. Now, watch what happens if I try to do the most steep one here. Notice that I'm missing this guy right there, okay? I'm missing that error bar right there. So I can't just do this one to that one. I can't just do that. I've got to do something a little more nuanced. So what is the steepest thing? Well, this one becomes the one that I've really got to line up with, right? And then notice this guy. This guy's missing too, right? So the least steep one here, you're going to find a couple error bars that you got to peg. And for me, it's those error bars right there. Okay. Actually, no, this isn't the least steep. This is the most steep. Like that. So find it. You're going to find that there's a couple error bars that are troublesome. And you're going to have to make those the ones that you sort of peg it to. Okay? Anyway, that's my most steep. Let's look at my least steep line. And again, I can try doing that guy to this guy. And let's see if we miss anybody. I don't think we do. No, we're good. We don't miss any, but usually one of them's a little dodgy. The other one's pretty good. So look, I'm, I'm hitting that guy right there and this guy right here. But let's draw it. Let's see if we missed any of the error bars. We went through this one, we went through that one, through that one, through that one. I think we're good, right? So for this one, it was the least or the steepest one that was the dodgiest one because of these two points right there. So just, just draw the steepest line you can that doesn't miss any of the error bars at all and the least steep that you can. All right, <laughs> I think that's it.